In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the equivalent resistance of a circuit. So let's say if you have two resistors in series. Let's say this is a 10 ohm resistor and this is a 20 ohm resistor. What is the equivalent resistance or the total resistance of the circuit? In a series circuit, the total resistance is simply the sum of all the resistors. So 10 plus 20 is 30. So we can describe this as a 30 ohm resistor. So these two circuits are equivalent. Now what if we have two resistors in parallel? Let's say this is a 10 ohm resistor and this is a 10 ohm resistor. We'll call this R1 and R2. So what's the equivalent resistance of this circuit? Now whenever you have two resistors in parallel and if they have the same value, the equivalent resistance will simply be half of that value. So the equivalent resistance is going to be 5 ohms. To calculate the total resistance for two resistors in a parallel circuit, it's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 raised to the minus 1. So this is going to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 raised to the negative 1. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, so this becomes 2 over 10. And when you raise a fraction to the negative 1 power, you basically flip the fraction. And so this becomes half of 10, or 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Now, what if we have three resistors in parallel? Let's say this is a 4 ohm resistor, a 6 ohm resistor and an 8 ohm resistor. What's the equivalent resistance of this circuit? Let's call this R1, R2, and R3. So we can use this formula to get the answer. It's going to be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, all raised to negative 1 power. So that's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 8. And you just got to type it in the way you see it in your calculator. And so for this circuit, the equivalent resistance is 1.846 ohms. And so that's the answer. Here's another example. Go ahead and calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit. So let's say this is a 20 ohm resistor, and this is a 20 ohm resistor, and this is a 15 ohm resistor. So notice that these two resistors are parallel to each other, and they have the same value. So therefore, the equivalent resistance of these two resistors, you could replace both of them with a 10 ohm resistor. So now we're going to redraw the circuit. So now that these two have been replaced with a 10 ohm resistor, these two are in series with each other. So we can add those two values. 15 and 10 is 25. So the equivalent resistance for this circuit is 25 ohms. And so that's it for this problem. So here's another one. So let's say this is a 40 ohm resistor, and this is a 40 ohm resistor, and this is a 20 ohm. And let's say this is a 5 ohm resistor, this is a 15 ohm resistor, and this is a 30 ohm resistor. Now, notice that these two are parallel and they have the same resistance. So these two, you can replace it with a 20 ohm resistor. And so now we have a 20 ohm resistor and another 20 ohm resistor. So if these two combine is 20, and that becomes one resistor, and this is 20, then these two 
become 10. So the equivalent resistance for all three of these resistors is 10. And to confirm it, you can type it in. 1 over 40 plus 1 over 40 plus 1 over 20 and raised to the minus 1. This will give you 10 ohms. So I can replace this entire circuit with a 10 ohm resistor. So now, the remaining four resistors, notice that they're all in series. There's only one path for the current to flow. So it's going to be 5 plus 15, which is 20, plus 10, plus 30. So the equivalent resistance for this circuit is 60 ohms. And that's it for this problem. Let's try this example. So let's say this is a 10 ohm resistor. This is 20 and this is 30. So feel free to pause the video and calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So notice that these two they're in series because there's only one path for the current to flow. So 10 plus 20 is 30 ohms. So I can replace those two resistors with a 30 ohm resistor. Now, I can write this resistor like this if I want to, or I can draw it this way, or I can draw it like this. It doesn't matter. What's important is to realize that these two, when you combine it into a single resistor, they're in parallel with this resistor. So once you realize that, and the fact that you have two parallel resistors with the same value, you know that the equivalent resistance is going to be half of 30. So it's 15 ohms. And that's the answer. Now let's try a similar example, but with more steps. So let's say if this is 10, this is 20, and this is 30, we're going to say that this is 60, and then this is 10 and 20. Calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So first, we need to realize that these three resistors are in series. There's only one path for the current to flow in that branch. So we can add 10, 20, and 30 to get 60. So let's replace this with a 60 ohm resistor. Now notice that these two are in parallel and they're equivalent to each other. So the equivalent resistance for those two resistors it's going to be half of 60, which is 30. So we can replace them with a 30 ohm resistor. And now we have three resistors in parallel. 10 and 20 is 30 plus another 30. That gives us an equivalent resistance or total resistance of 60 ohms for that circuit. Let's look at one more example. This one is going to be harder than the other ones. But you should definitely try it though. So this is going to be a 30 ohm resistor, a 50 ohm resistor, and that's 40. And we're going to say this is 5. 20, this is going to be 30, 20, 20, and this is 15 and 5. So go ahead and calculate the equivalent resistance. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw the circuit. 
let's call this position A, B, let's say this is C, D, and E. Notice that these two, which are in series to each other, those two combined are parallel to that resistor. So here's the 15 ohm resistor, and this is the 5 ohm resistor. And a 20 ohm resistor is parallel to those two. So this is point E, and this is point D in a previous circuit. It helps if you redraw it. Now, attached to point D, we have the 30 ohm resistor, and the 20 ohm resistor is attached to point E. So these are these two resistors. And this one is in the middle, so that's the 20 ohm resistor. Now, between the 30 and the 20, we have point C, which is here. And there's a 20 ohm resistor attached to that point. And then we have a 40 ohm resistor and then the 5 ohm resistor. So across the 40 we have points A and B. And then we have the 50 ohm resistor and the 30 ohm resistor. So if you draw it this way it makes it a lot easier to solve this circuit. So let's get rid of this picture now that we have something better to work with. Now the first thing we need to do is combine these two resistors because they are in series with each other. So 5 plus 15 is 20. So let's replace them with a single 20 ohm resistor. Now these two are parallel to each other and they have the same value. So the equivalent resistance of those two will be half of 20, so that's going to be 10. Now, what do we do at this point? Now, here's a question for you. Are these two resistors, are they in series? The answer is no. There is not a single path for the current to flow. Even though the current can flow this way, it can also take this path. So those two resistors are not in series. Now, what about these two? Are they in series? The answer is yes, because current can flow only one way through those two resistors. Either it's clockwise or counterclockwise. There's no detour that it can make in this junction. So notice that I can change a circuit and make it look like this. So we still have the 10 ohm resistor, but now the 20 ohm resistor is here. And notice the connection is still the same. So if it's here or here, it doesn't really change the circuit. It's still connected the same way. Now you can clearly see that these two are in series with each other. So now we can replace that with a 30 ohm resistor. And we could change the structure of the circuit. So that 30 ohm resistor is directly across the other 30 ohm resistor. And so these two combined are in parallel, so the equivalent resistance of those two will be half of 30. So that's going to be 15. And then these three are in series. So we got 5 plus 15 plus 20, so that's 40 ohms. Next, we have two 40 ohm resistors in parallel with each other. So the equivalent resistance for those two will be half of 40. And so that's going to be 20. And so these three, there's only one path for the current to flow, so they're in series. So it's going to be 30 plus 20 plus 50. And therefore, the equivalent resistance for this circuit is 100 ohms. And that's the answer.